Welcome to the Chester Hill High School Virtual Orientation Day website. This website was designed to help you throughout your transition to high school. The following PowerPoint will go through some of the key information you need to help you settle into high school life. Our school runs on a fortnightly timetable. Each period runs for one hour, except for Monday period two and Tuesday's transition lesson. Monday period two comprises of half an hour of a whole school wellbeing session, immediately followed by a half an hour of SRE. After lunch on Tuesday, Year 7 have a half an hour period of transition lessons designed to help students navigate their way through their first year of high school. Recess and lunch go for 30 minutes each. The school day begins at 8.50 each morning and finishes at 3pm, except for Tuesday where school finishes at 2.30. Here are our school bell times. Chester Hill High School is a uniform school. The uniform is endorsed by the school community and is compulsory at Chester Hill High School. School uniform enhances a school's image within the community and instills a sense of belonging and pride amongst our students. It is expected that all students are in full school uniform every day. The uniform is to be worn as designed and not altered in any way. Below are our school's approved uniform items. Please note that for excursions, full school uniform must be worn. Variations to this will be in permission notes sent home. Also, no excessive makeup or jewellery is to be worn. In practical subjects, there are specific uniform requirements to participate in practical activities. For PDHPE, lace up sports shoes only that provide adequate support and grip, no canvas shoes. For science and technology, Department of Education Work Health and Safety Regulations require black leather, fully enclosed, lace-up school shoes to be worn. It is the expectation of students at Chester Hill High School that their mobile phones are off and in their bags throughout the school day. They can only be turned on and used at recess and lunchtime. Mobile phones can be used in the classroom if there is express permission by the teacher and it facilitates the learning experience. If a student is sick, they are not to use a mobile phone to contact parents. The student must go to sickbay in the office with a note in the school diary if it is during class. The office staff will contact a parent or guardian. If a student needs to contact a parent for any reason throughout the school day, they must go to the office. Office staff will provide access to a phone to contact a parent. Inappropriate use of a mobile phone or electronic device includes, but is not limited to, low-level behaviours such as messaging or playing games, or high-level behaviours such as bullying or harassing anyone inside or outside of school. Students have a responsibility to understand and follow the mobile phone and electronic devices acceptable use flowchart. This flowchart will be explained to you in more detail once you start school next year. At Chester Hill High School, we are committed to providing a safe, supportive and responsive learning environment for all students. We teach and model the behaviour we value in our students. On the next slide is the Chester Hill High School's behaviour matrix. This can be further found in your student handbooks. The canteen is open every recess and lunch for you to purchase food, snacks or drinks should you need to. The canteen accepts both cash and FPOS payments. On the next slide is the menu for the Chester Hill High School canteen and this can also be found in your student handbook. If you need to go to the toilet during class time, you must seek permission from your teacher. They will give you a yellow lanyard as your out of class pass, and this gives you permission to be out of class and heading to the toilet. During class time, students will use the toilets located in the front office. Students will need to scan in and out of the front office toilets, so you must bring your ID card with you when you need to go to the toilet. Students will be issued with two receipts when they go to the toilet during class time. One receipt is when students have scanned in and one receipt is when students have scanned out. 
These receipts need to be given back to your teacher when you return to class so they can verify that you have been to the toilet. The library is open from 8.15am until 3pm every day. It is also open at recess and lunchtime. Books can be borrowed for two weeks. When you wish to borrow, all you need to have is your ID card. You can borrow fiction and non-fiction books, senior study guides and other resources. Remember to move quietly around the library. All printing and photocopying in the library can only be done with school ID cards. All students must place a minimum deposit of $2 onto their ID card. Money will be deducted from the card each time a student prints or makes copies, 20 cents for black and white and 50 cents for colour. If you require help, ask the library staff. Lateness to school. The school day commences at Chesley Hill High School at 8.50am. If you are late, you must report to the office and scan your ID card and provide a note from your parent or caregiver to explain your lateness. You will be issued with a late notice printout to present to the classroom teacher on entering the lesson. Being punctual to school ensures you start your day ready to learn and succeed. Early leave from school. You must bring a note written by your parent or caregiver to the office by 8.30am requesting permission to leave school early. The deputy principal will contact your parent or caregiver to confirm this information. Notes should clearly state your name and year, the reason to leave early, the time you have to leave, your parent caregiver contact number. You'll be given a leaver's pass which states your name and the time you are allowed to leave. Present this to your teacher and as you leave the school. If you have a medical dental appointment, you need to bring the doctor's certificate when you return. Students are not permitted to leave the school grounds during school hours. Year 7 students will participate in practical PE lessons as well as integrated sport periods throughout the year. These will be identified by your PE teacher on your timetable. For these lessons, students must come to school in full school uniform and bring their sports uniform and correct shoes in order to change into them for the period. Your PE or sport teacher will open the change rooms for you and give you time to change into the correct uniform. At the conclusion of the period, students are required to go back to the change rooms and change back into their full school uniform, even if they have PE or sport as their last class of the day. If you come to school and start to feel sick throughout the day, you need to inform your teacher that you are feeling unwell. Your teacher will provide you with a note to go to the front office. The school first aid officer will assess if you are too sick to stay at school and then contact your parent or caregiver to pick you up. Remember, do not come to school if in the morning you are feeling sick. The sick bay cannot give treatment for illness. The sick bay can only offer first aid. Students cannot stay in the sick bay. It is important to have up-to-date phone numbers of your parents or caregivers at home and work in case you need to be taken to hospital by ambulance. If you are sick and away from school for the whole day, the following process will apply. An SMS message will be sent from the school to the parent caregiver. Any absence must be explained in writing immediately upon the student's return to school or by return SMS. Parents must provide an explanation for absences through a written note to the office within seven days from the first day of any period of absence. You will need a medical certificate if absence from an assessment task. Any extended absence requires parents to complete an application for extended leave form to request leave from the principal. This should be done well in advance of the extended absence. All extended leave overseas travel will be counted as an absence on the student record and will not be supported by the principal unless there are extenuating circumstances. Each student will be enrolled in a wellbeing class which they will stay in until they graduate from Chester Hill High School. The wellbeing teacher is an immediate support person students can reach out to on a weekly basis during their wellbeing lessons on Monday. Each year group also has a year advisor and an assistant year advisor. Students can go to them if they are having any problems and need someone to talk to. The year advisor will talk to you about any problems that may come up at school, assist you with uniform, contact your parents about any problems at school, be there for you if you need advice about school or other matters, or assist you with subject selections in years 8 and year 10. 
Below are the names of the year advisor and assistant year advisor for the Year 7 2022 cohort at Chester Hill High School. Your year advisor is myself, Ms Fisher, and your assistant year advisor is Ms Perfidis. There's also the head teacher wellbeings. They have a special responsibility to support the wellbeing of students. They are also available for students to talk to and discuss issues that are concerning them at school or at home. There's also the school counsellors. They are available to give students advice about personal problems. These discussions are always confidential. Students or their parents or caregivers can make an appointment to see the counsellors on the days they are at school. At Chester Hill High School, we believe it is important to celebrate success in anything you do at school. This is why we have our Positive Recognition Scheme. These certificates are given for consistent effort, outstanding results, commitment to school initiatives, leadership, extracurricular participation, excellence in sport and faculty commendation. There is a reward for each level successfully achieved. There are six levels in our Positive Recognition Scheme. Bronze, Silver, Gold, School Medal, Platinum and Diamond. Here is an example of what our merits look like. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact Chester Hill High School for any questions or queries. And the phone number is 9644 1099. Thank you.